Now to Washington, D.C., where Hawaiian Electric CEO testified before Congress today. Congressional representatives from both parties said they see urgency in learning from what happened in Lahaina. KITV4's Jeremy Lee joins us live from our nation's capital. Jeremy. Several times, the CEO of Hawaiian Electric was asked about the events of August 8, the operations, and several times she said she didn't have the information in front of her that she would have to submit it at a later date. The CEO for Hawaiian Electric left the congressional building swiftly, but KITV4 did have a chance to speak to a representative from Hawaiian Electric and bring up those images we've showed you so many times of utility crews on August 8 at work during the evacuation. As, as Shelley said in there, we looked at... at KITV4 asked Hawaiian Electric's Alex Vice President, Government and Community Relations, Jim Kelly, at what point did Hawaiian Electric on August 8th give crews the directive to clear poles for an evacuation as opposed to repairing them? From talking to the crews on Maui, it was very clear early on that day, because it was so windy, that the mission was not to get the power back on. The mission was to try to get stuff off the road, to clear, to, to um, because it, they, it was so windy they couldn't get the bucket trucks up. So, so even before the fire started? Yes, well, before the, uh, before the, after, yeah, the afternoon fire, yes. But Hawaiian Electric's Twitter tells a different story. At 9.07 a.m., the utility account tweets, crews are working to safely restore power to several thousand West Maui customers. Later, at 10.05 a.m., the account tweets West Maui crews are responding to repair multiple downed poles. Then later in the day, at 3.54 p.m., the Hawaiian Electric account posts customers should prepare for an extended outage into the late evening as crews work on repairs. Then a minute later, at 3.55, that crews are arriving from Oahu to help with the restoration efforts. Several times, Hawaiian Electric's CEO told the committee information wasn't readily available about August 8th. Andrea Piccello of Lahaina was in D.C. She's part of a lawsuit against HECO and wasn't completely surprised by the lack of answers. I figure that's what we would hear, um, but it still is very disappointing to have people in these places of leadership just pointing the finger at other people. That's just been going around in all of our leadership positions. They're all just trying to absolve themselves and blame other people. Congressional leaders from both sides of the aisle say that the focus of all this is oversight and also how to make improvements. Lots of talk about hardening the electrical grid. That does come at a price. The cost of installing power lines below ground is five times greater, according to the testimony of those in the session today, than it is to install them above ground. Reporting live from Washington, D.C., Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.